half a century ago, as India awoke to light and freedom. Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru had a vision to build an oil and gas industry in a developing country. 45 years after formation, the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation is India's most valuable company and an organization that makes every Indian's heart swell with a sense of pride and ownership. This saga of success was created by the thousands of oil people who toiled in all corners of India, facing all kinds of hardships. In 1958, ONGC went to Cambay and made the first discovery at Lunage. Then came Ankaleshwar, where ONGC struck gold, black, liquid gold, on the 14th of May, 1960. Ankaleshwar continues to produce one of the best crudes in the world, even today, and is in fact the first jewel in the crown of ONGC. In the early 70s, ONGC went offshore and discovered a giant oil field called Mumbai High. This discovery, along with subsequent discoveries of a number of huge oil and gas fields in the western offshore, changed the oil scenario of the country. Subsequently, over 5 billion tons of hydrocarbons present within the country were discovered. The most important contribution of ONGC, however, is its self-reliance and development of core competence at competitive level. ONGC is modernizing its fleet of drilling rigs and related equipment to elevate its operations to the best-in-class level. Investments of around $440 million are going towards this modernization. In keeping with setting world-class standards, ONGC establishments have received more than 62 ISO certifications and other accreditations in a single year. This means practically every week one or more ONGC establishments have received a certification. Today ONGC is dedicated to excellence by leveraging competitive advantages in research and development and technology. Today, with its market capitalization crossing 500 billion rupees, or 10.9 billion dollars, ONGC is India's most valuable company and the fourth most profitable oil and gas company in Asia, according to a survey by the Asia Week magazine. For 2002-2003, ONGC became the first Indian company to register a net profit exceeding 100 billion rupees or 2.2 billion dollars. On 3rd September 2003, ONGC Group's market capitalization crossed 21 billion dollars. According to Platt's Energy Business Technology Survey, ONGC is today the world's number two exploration and production company. In July 2001, ONGC adopted a 20-year corporate strategy whose first objective is to double the reserve base from 6 billion tons to 12 billion tons. The second objective is to increase the overall recovery from the current 28% to 40% in order to overcome the natural decline in all producing fields. The third objective of ONGC's corporate strategy is to tie up at least 20 million tons of equity oil and gas every year from its operations abroad.
with properties in Vietnam, Russia, Myanmar, Iraq, Iran, Sudan, Libya, and Syria. ONGC Videsh Limited has made substantial progress in the last two years. In Vietnam, OVL is investing 228 million US dollars and has a 45% share in two large offshore gas fields. With an investment of 669 million US dollars, OVL has a 25% stake in the Greater Nile oil project in Sudan. ONGC Videsh has invested an estimated 1.75 billion US dollars in the Sakhalin 1 project in Russia, making it the largest single foreign investment ever made by any Indian corporate and the largest foreign direct investment ever into Russia. On the 30th of November 2003, ONGC spudded its first ultra deep water well in the Gulf of Kutch, launching its deep sea exploration project, Sagar Samriti. Targeting to discover and produce oil and gas from fields under water depths of up to three kilometers, Sagar Samriti is expected to add at least one billion tons of oil and oil equivalent gas to existing reserves over the next two to three decades. From Mumbai High to Sagar Samriti, ONGC continues at the cutting edge of global technology. Today, ONGC is India's only integrated petroleum group, actively involved in exploration, production, refining, transportation, plus marketing. A rejuvenated ONGC is ready to take off as a global energy provider and has a vision to be a world-class oil and gas company integrated in the energy business. ONGC is truly making tomorrow brighter. <laughs>